Hi, it's Tanya from My Forking Life, and today we're in the kitchen and we're making your favorite air fried fish. Now, I love making fish in my air fryer because it gets nice and golden and I don't have to do it on the stovetop. Plus, it's a little bit healthier for you because you are not using as much oil as you use with traditional frying methods. Now, before we continue, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified every time that I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I went ahead and did is I rinsed and dried some fish fillets that I got from the market. This is flounder that I'm using, but the recipe that I have on my site, you could use perch, perk, perch. You could also use whiting fillets, whatever white fish that you prefer when you're doing fried fish. And now what I'm gonna do while I let that um, dry off a little bit more is I'm going to make my, not batter, but my, I'm gonna make the stuff that I'm gonna put the fish in. Ah. All right, so I've got here a clear plastic bag and I'm gonna put all my seasonings and stuff in this bag. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some cornmeal. And I've got the ultra thin kind because that's what I use to make porridge in the morning. So I'm gonna use that about three fourths of a cup. All purpose flour, I'm running a little bit low here. Do you know how it is? It's hard to get everything. I'm gonna put just one fourth of a cup of flour. And now we're gonna do our seasonings. Got here some Old Bay. Let's do about two teaspoons of Old Bay. And you could use whatever fish seasoning you have. I know they sell some over the counter. If you prefer that, that's fine. But if you rather just make it yourself, throw some cornmeal and flour and just season it up. I'm gonna put in some salt. I know exactly how much salt I want. I want a teaspoon and a half, roughly. I'm also gonna throw in some paprika. I really want some color to this fish. I'm gonna do a whole nice heaping teaspoon of paprika. Not smoked paprika, just regular old paprika, which is gonna be a little bit sweeter. And I'm going to do maybe just about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and about a half a teaspoon of ground pepper. All right, I'm gonna take that in my bag and I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up first. Everything is nice and mixed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drop my fish fillets in there. Now, I'm only gonna do two fillets at this time because unfortunately, you're gonna to have to do them in batches. You don't wanna crowd your air fryer basket. So you could do more fillets, but you're gonna to have to cook them in batches. You can't just like throw a bunch of them in there unless you have a larger air fryer. You know, the reason why I use the baggie, it's easier to get rid of the batter afterwards. Just throw away the bag. And it's easier to make sure that these Fillets get nice and fully coated. Show you that. All right, so what I'm gonna do at this time though is I'm gonna lay these fillet on a bacon sheet. Fillet. These fish fillets. Not a bacon sheet. Oh gosh. A baking cooling rack. That's what I'm laying them on. And the reason why I do that is just to allow some of that excess mixture to drip off. We don't want it to be too much when we put our fish in the air fryer basket. And we just leave it there for a second while we prepare our air fryer basket. Now what we're gonna do is we've got our fish ready to go into our air fryer basket. Now I am not gonna preheat today. Usually I know I preheat, but I just wanna show you exactly what I did when I created this recipe initially. Didn't preheat, but I do have my basket here and I do have my handy bandy, dandy, handy bandy, handy dandy spray bottle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the bottom of that basket just to make sure these fillets don't stick. Then I'm going to take each filet, like I said, lay it. Now, since this is flounder and it's a lot thinner, um, typically if your filets are thicker, um, you are gonna cook it a little bit longer. But since these are so thin, I'm gonna start checking them at 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook them in the air fryer on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. 
I'm going to start with 10 minutes in mind. So I'm going to check on them after five minutes. I am not spraying the top of the fish at this moment. As you see, I'm just gonna pop it in. And then after five minutes, I'm gonna look to see what it looks like. And if it's starting to get crispy-ish, I am then going to spray it at that time and then flip it and cook it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in my basket. Start on 400 degrees. And I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes. Now, when I originally developed this recipe, and believe me, I checked it a lot of times, those fillets were a little bit thicker and it took me a total of 17 minutes to cook it. But since these are thinner, I'm going to cut that time down drastically and I'm gonna aim for about 10 to 14 minutes, depending on what it's looking like. Boom, boom. All right, I'll be back in five minutes. Okay, so it's actually been six minutes. I got distracted, but I'm gonna pull that fish out just so you can see what it looks like so far. Remember, we haven't added any oil to the fish yet. And it's already starting to look good. You can still see a little bit of the flour and cornmeal spots. So at this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a nice little spray just to cover those spots, make it nice and golden, and I'm gonna flip it. Now this is a flounder filet. We are having a little bit of sticking issues. Okay, my flounder is being disrespectful to me, so I'm just gonna, there we go. All right, and as you can see, it's already golden. So the idea and the purpose of the oil is to make it golden. And if you find that you are, your fish is already golden and you may not need to spray extra oil, then don't worry about it. I'm gonna pop these back in there and I'm gonna let them continue to cook and I'm gonna watch it. So there's four minutes left on my timer. I want these fried a little bit harder, so I'm actually probably gonna go a little bit longer than 10 minutes. I think we're gonna do this side for about an additional six minutes instead. So I'm gonna put that back in there. And I'm just gonna add an additional two minutes on here because I want that to cook a little bit longer so I, that it can get a little bit firmer when it's cooked. All right, I'll be back. So my fish is in there still cooking and I upped it up to about seven minutes. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like after it's been cooking. Remember we did six minutes on the first side and then we did seven minutes because these are thinner fillets and this is what they look like. They're nice, they're golden. I'm gonna tap on them a little bit. And they're hot. So these are flounder fillets and they're a little bit more soft than other fillets. So I wanna make sure we get them out easily. And one way to avoid the sticking issue is to use parchment paper liners. I use them in my fried chicken. I should have used them here, but you know, any kind of day. I'm gonna go ahead and plate these. Bada bing, bada boom. Beautiful fish fillets. Beautiful golden fish fillets. All right, so there you have it. Delicious, crispy, air fried fish. Now, again, you'll have to cook these in batches. So this is better if you are serving two to four people. If you wanna keep these warm, unfortunately, you'll probably need to cut on that oven on low, about 225 degrees, and put them there if you decide to cook it this way and cook them in batches. Or if you just need something for you know two or one people, just make to fish fillets. Or if you are one of those people that are lucky enough to have one of those big air fryer ovens, that works as well. The air fryer oven that I actually own is the power air fryer oven with the three layers. It is not my favorite air fryer. However, it does get the trick done. If you are doing a lot, you just have to make sure you rotate those baskets for even cooking. All right, that's it. Until the next time, bye.